All right, it's been a while and there's been a lot going on. So let's save for starters. And then we have to go out and... Well, first we need to get some rest because we're gonna be up in Adam, Adam Ant tomorrow. Investigating. Well, that's convenient that today was the day the school was founded. Alright, where should we start? No better place than here. It's pretty small. Yeah, uh, so a while ago there was murders that happened in this town. Can you tell me anything about them? Sorry. My bad. How about you? Anything? Nothing. Okay. Now, Toe, have you had any luck yet? No matter how small. Nothing? You remember nothing, no matter how small? Uh, I won't bother you again, it's okay. Alright, I guess let's go to the shopping district next. There's probably a lot of people there. Uh, Yosuke's down here, I'll start in the north. And Kanji and Yukiko, yeah, they have the south down here pr pretty well covered. No, Risei's talking to that guy. She is over here looking at a wall. Yeah, there was murders a while ago. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I remember that, but we're doing our own separate investigation? old guy who always wants to toll. Oh, I have a new option. Do you recall anyone suspicious around at all? <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay, well, it looks like I have a new option, so I better go back to Juness before I forget. Before I, like, cross that girl off my list of people that I've asked questions to and see if she remembers. I know I already asked you about the murders, however, not just about the murders specifically, but do you remember anyone suspicious around at all? Really? Okay. I, I will. Thank you very much. Good luck with college entrance exams. Alright, I'm glad I came back. Wow, that worked out really well, actually. Um, wandering around the shopping district? If it's a friend of hers, probably a student, right? That's a student. Is my friend Yosuke bothering you? Yeah, maybe a friend of yours at Juness? Yeah, I remember. Okay, good, and we have this girl to corroborate that he wasn't making advances on her. Alrighty, Yoste, did you find out anything? No? Okay. How about you, dude? The country of Juness. Alright, sorry. Yeah, do you remember anything about anybody about the murders? 
It was, yeah. Two people died. Well, I mean, even if you don't remember much about that, do you, do you remember anything suspicious? Yeah. No? Okay, well, thank you. How's it going, Yukiko? Okay. Kanji, any better luck? <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Kanji. I'm sure you know how it feels to be ignored. I'm sorry that it hurts. Hey, guy. I know you're talking to Reset and all. Okay, I think you're missing the point. Oh, yes, yes, terribly busy. Um, my friend Reset here is a has some questions for you. Do you remember anything about the murders from a while ago? Well, no, I'm actually not quite done yet, and Reset can wait. I'm sure she will back me up on her on her waiting thing. You might not remember anything, but do you see anything at all? Anything you can remember? I see, I guess we're not gonna get much out of this guy. Rise, best of luck. <laughs> he kinda became a staple figure, huh? I don't know. Hey, Mr. Crow, apparently he didn't remember anything. GA? I don't know. Well, I found some people who remember a, a couple things. Nothing very big, though. Wait, did I ever actually ask this lady if she saw anyone suspicious? I remember asking about the murders. Okay, well, thank you. And I don't think I asked the old guy about... about the murders. Okay, well, thank you anyway. I hear I hear that Tanaka's show was selling some. They might be sold out already, though. Wait, this guy's wearing a gas mask. Can he even talk? I don't know who you are. Yeah, about the murders a while ago. Do you remember anything? Yeah, but we're conducting an independent investigation. No? Okay. Well, I mean, I know it was a while ago and everything, and I I know that the, the case is closed, but do you remember anything suspicious at all? I guess that's true, eh? Okay, well, thank you. How about this guy? <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice, huh? No, he doesn't have any... have anything either. Wow, people don't seem to remember much, eh? Huh. Okay, well, I think I covered Juness. I haven't done the floodplain yet, so let's see if anybody knows anything here. Yeah, I'm still looking for the lamp, however, no, I can't ask you any questions. Okay, well, see ya. I wonder if the old guy's down at the river. No, nobody's down at the river, actually. Okay, well, sorry, river, you're lonely today. I'm sorry. Oh, thank God. 
Yeah, that's scary. No? Okay. Not many questions to be asked in the floodplains. Yeah, so a while ago there was murders, right? Okay, that's fair. Well, separate from that, I mean, I know it's been a long time, but do you remember anything at all? Anything suspicious, maybe? Something that stuck out to you? Okay, well, thank you for your time. Kitty Cat, do you remember anything? No? Okay, well, thank you, Kitty Cat. Oh, so sad. Yeah, about the murders a while ago, do you remember anything? Yes, I remember. Is there anything suspicious you saw? Anything you can tell me? I think we've asked everybody. We went all through Juness, all through the shopping district. I think all we can do is just... No. Okay, never mind. I am wrong. Uh, maybe... Oh, I need to ask about the murders more. Because I, I got a prompt that said you won't be able to find anything about the suspicious people. But... So is there someone that I asked a question to that I didn't ask about the murders? No, I asked you. I don't think I asked you, actually. I think I just asked you if you were called anything suspicious. Yeah, wasn't that long ago after all. I thought you were, but... Okay, there. Now we have now we have all the information. You have to ask everybody in both shopping districts, Juness and the Samajawa floodplain, if they found anything, or if they know anything about both questions. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. It was a long day, I know. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! That's a good start. That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. No use thinking on an empty stomach, Yosuke. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. our tummies are full. Let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. Just has to be a little detail. Some... something. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? <gasps> the police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. 
Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. What are the criteria? The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Keep warm, Naoto. I'm with Naoto. I'll be outside thinking. Oh, it's snowing. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Hey, Yosuke. It's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hopefully. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick, the snow just gets lost in it. What are we not putting together? We have all the information we can get. We've asked everybody, the police, we have all that. What's the matter? So, they somehow had to know or be connected to Miss Yamano and Miss Tonishi. We know that. That's true. They do know about the method of killing. The television. We can probably deduce that, yeah. Who could know all these things? That's true. About the about the seeing anybody, the witnesses though. They'd have to witness someone getting pushed into the TV. Hmm. That's true. Both warning levers were letters were brought directly to my house. Who would that be? Someone who has access to Yamano and Konishi approaches my house and there's no witnesses. Who is it? There are annotations on the screen. So whoever you think it is, by all means, click on them. We do have Yoste and Chie and Yukiko and Teddy. But we also have Kanji and we have Rise and we have Naoto. We also have Dojima, we have Nanako, we have Adachi, we have Namatame. We also have Mayumi Yamano herself, Saki Konishi herself, Mr. Moroka. Maybe it really was Mitsuo Kubo the whole time. In addition to that, we do have Misuzu Hiragi, we have Miss Tashiwagi, we have Hanako as well. We also have I and Ko and Daisuke. We also have Naoki and Yumi. And someone named Ayane.
and Shu and Hisano and Eri. It has to be one of these people. One of these people we know. If that wasn't enough time to think about your decision, you can click the annotation and go back to where the annotations start and think through who it might be again. <laughs> 